why are bikers angry? I keep on getting this question from a lot of friends of mine. Why did they go to the streets and rally? Why are there so many uh, posts on social media of riders complaining about their rights being trampled upon? And it all boils down to a law that was uh, authored by Senator Gordon, Republic Act 11235. If you're not going to listen to the whole thing, it's all good. I'll, tell, I'll, I'll summarize it. It's three reasons. One, the way the law is written, it's unsafe. Because it's basically strapping a metal blade to the front of your bike that acts like a guillotine, like a razor that's traveling at 20 to 80 kilometers per hour. This is dangerous not just for the rider, but also pedestrians. And there's a reason why you don't have metal plates on the front of your motorcycle. Any place else in the world, you don't have that. They've studied it, and it's basically a doomsday bike for the walking dead. It's perfect to mow down zombies. Motorcycles are not designed to have a big flat metal plate in front of it. It totally messes the aerodynamics up. The second reason that riders are super angry is the ridiculous fines. You're looking at 50 to 100,000 pesos or incarceration if you don't have whatever they agree upon as the secondary plate. My scooter that I use almost every day cost 15,000 pesos. Now, imagine if you don't have the plate and your bike isn't registered. And there's a police checkpoint. You don't have the registration the potential to end the temptation for a corrupt officer to shake you down is multiplied by 50 to 100,000 pesos. The temptation for the license plate issuing body, which doesn't even issue stickers, to monopolize and to play with the scarcity because they know that you're dependent on it for your job. Again, the temptation for corruption is very high. We bought three cars in the last five years and none of them have license plates. It took a year and a half for me to get my physical license. And I had two motorcycles registered a couple of weeks ago and all I got was a piece of paper with a stamp saying no sticker available. The government, the LTO, can't even provide these basic things. And now you're going to be penalized 50 to 100,000 pesos if you break this law. The third reason is because, and this affects the motorcycle industry, you cannot sell any motorcycle that doesn't have the designed plate holder in place. Which means if you follow what a normal reasonable person would conclude is that you cannot sell any motorcycle that's available now. Because nowhere in the world is there a motorcycle wherein it has a place for a front metal plate. So the final reason riders are taking to the streets is because the law is anti-poor. Why is it anti-poor? I have options. I can drive. I can take a grab. I can commute. My livelihood isn't dependent on a motorcycle. But majority of the people out there who are on the streets, their livelihood is dependent on 
their motorcycle. There are 40 million motorcycle riders out there and over half of them use it to earn a living. They are delivery boys, they're uh, uncus riders, they're, you know, they are messengers for the office. Because of the traffic, there's so much potential to earn and earn a decent living as a motorcycle rider. And all of these rules, these new fines, could take that away from them. And that is why riders are angry.